Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. It's Fast Craft Friday. And today I'm gonna to be using this Chow Bella The Muse collection. This is the first time I've ever used this brand and I am already semi-obsessed with it and I have a cart and the computer behind me for more collections because it kind of reminds me of like a Stamperia style, which I have used before and I love. It's got these vintage style elements very shabby chic, lots of almost like a mixed media background already built in. So I'm just gonna do a flip through first and then we'll make a layout. Look at this, got beautiful script, like these kind of, I don't know what you call it, it's like a water kind of splatter look, which I love and I always try to just put on everything anyway, like this kind of ink splatter. Some text, this lady here with a typewriter, I love that one too. That would really make a pretty card. They're all double-sided. I also like that it has places to cut out different elements. Like this page, there's like tags and little words. These kind of doohickeys here, little typewriter keys. Great for card making. And I like this. Really, I've just flipped through this whole collection like three times. This has like elephants on it, cute. This is an awesome page. I almost chose this one to make today. Fussy cutting, I think a collage behind there, fabulous. I'm excited that might be my next one. I love that. I did a flip through also on Instagram this week and Facebook, how cute is that? But I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna set it aside. But I just, I, I loved it all, really. It was a tough choice to make. This, look at these so cute right has anybody else used this brand before if you've used this brand will you comment and let me know your favorite collection of theirs i think i have half a dozen sitting in my cart right now look at how cute so anyway i digress i'm going to be making this one in fast forward motion i found these from 49 and market vintage shades potpourri different sizes here I thought worked really well with this color palette and then some cardboard I don't know if you've used this technique before but when I have packing material especially if it's a really thick box they make excellent cardboard shreds you just literally rip your cardboard apart and then rip it to the desired size you can literally buy corrugated stuff like this it is very expensive you can make it free. It's not maybe as pretty. It's a little bit more effort to like peel off the, the little ugly bits, but I love it. It's great. It adds a lot of texture. And again, recycling, awesome. So let's make some stuff. 